Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to be making a small desk calendar. Now I made one last year which was an A4 size and I loved it. I used it all the time but I did find it was a bit too big to have on my desk. So this is a smaller version. Now this is already a store brought one which I purchased from Muji which is a Japanese store but I'll share all the links. You can buy inexpensive calendars from many many stores so you might have some that you got for Christmas that you've got lying around so I wanted to make this look a bit more fun and eye-catching it was very dull so I've pulled all this the actual you know month pages out and I'm just going now and cutting them down and my final size is six and three eighths of an inch by five and a quarter sorry six and three quarters by five and a quarter um, and you can see them just you know cut them all down so they're all the same size then I'm bringing in the 8x8 Forever Free pack and I use the full 8x8 sheet. I don't lose, lose any of that print and I don't cut into it at all. So you can see there I'm just playing around just to see how that's going to look. Now rather than just sticking them directly onto the paper, which looks nice, those sheets, although they're thick, they did show through some of the darker images on the papers. So I end up going along and you can see now matting them on a matching, just plain, it was just copy paper, but just coloured copy paper. You can see now I'm just sticking them down, just giving it a small little frame. So you just want to make, you know, cut this just slightly larger than that actual month sheet there that I've got, um, month calendar, sorry. And then just trim down all of the sizes, all of the sizes. I'm not talking right at all today. All of the sides so you get a nice equal border. And now you can see when I sit that down against that 8x8 paper, it just, yeah, just looks nice. So again, sticking that one down and then I just go through all of my months and do that on every single one. So I pulled out 12 different decorative papers from that Forever Free 12 by 12, um, 8 by 8 paper pack. And um, yeah, it was just a nice way to use up papers. You might have a lot lying around and you get to appreciate all the prints for the next year. So I thought it was quite nice. You can see there I've done all of mine with just different backgrounds and and uh, mats and stuff so it looks really good so next I am just going to work out where I want to put my ring binder ring binders <laughs> binder hoops these are one and a half inches and again I'll share all the links in my blog so I'm just looking across there and I end up coming in at two and a quarter inches from both sides so two and a quarter in there from the right and two and a quarter in from the left and I come down three quarters of an inch you can just roughly see that with the ruler, but it's three quarters of an inch down. I've got the little dot there that I've just created with my biro. And then I'm just going to go along and hole punch over those little markers. And then rather than measuring every single one, all you've got to do is grab the next one, line it up with the one that you've already hole punched, and you're just basically tracing those holes. Then pop that one to one side and then use that one to do the next one and just work through that way and it's much much easier so now you can see i'm just going through just to check that they all line up nicely just putting those rings through and there you can see it's starting to come together so i'm really pleased so far next i want to just make sure it's nice and strong because it's obviously going to be used for the next year so i'm just using some white eyelets and i've got my pliers there and I'm just squashing them on and it's just a it just finishes the product so I mean if you did want to sell these or give them as a nice gift to a friend by doing these little extras I think just makes it look that little bit more special so I just go through now and do all of those and it just thickens the whole top part um, you can see there the white against all those patterns looks really nice and um, yeah it's all coming together really nicely so now I'm going to make the base so this is a piece of eight by a4 length so it's 11 and three quarters 11 and five eighths and you're basically going to score at eight then you're going to score at nine and a half and then you're going to score at 11 okay then you will need to fold it over so you've got a mountain then a valley and then a mountain so you're basically having that shape there okay then you'll need another piece which is eight by eight and a half and you're going to score at eight and just burnish over that fold and that's what we're going to use to connect them together and this is going to make our stand so it's a stand that's just like the one that I shot brought so I've just made it bigger so along the bottom of that one with the mountain and valley folds you just want to add some glue to that it's almost like a half inch tab and stick it to the end where you don't have that folded part on that other piece of cardstock so you can see that I'm just sticking it down so that's creating the base which you can see there and then that tab at the top now on that other piece that we scored and cut you just again want to pop your glue along that half inch tab and then fold in the bottom and fold the whole thing down so you've got your two eight by eight pieces kind of you know marrying up perfectly together 
and there's your stand really really easy to do and this is very similar to the stand that I made last year and I will link in that calendar because again I did really like that one now I want to create the holes again so I'm just tracing over the ones that we'd already done that way you know that you're going to get it exactly the same and then with a little bit more force because you've got to go through two bits this is strong cardstock this is 300 gsm so it's really strong to work as a stand and then just start popping them all back on again that is it it's it's finished it's such a quick very easy thing to do you just need obviously um those ring binders most of the stuff is from your stash you don't have to put the eyelets on there if you don't want to you can see now just finishing it off fasten them all and there is my 2019 desk calendar that honestly it took me about an hour just because i had to go through and cut you know all the paper the mats really that was probably the more time consuming part because all the papers were eight by eight so it just comes straight from the pack so it was really really quick and i love it so hopefully i've inspired you it's not too late to do these i think they look great you can see there it's just a nice way to appreciate i say before you get all these lovely papers in paper packs and we sometimes don't like to cut into them this is another nice project to just enjoy them you know see them for what they are and each month you're obviously going to have a different one you can obviously specialize it to the months have halloween themed papers valentine Valentine's themed, Christmas themed. I haven't. I just wanted it to just be just nice and bright for 2019. So yeah, that's my this year's uh, desk calendar. So a little bit smaller, but I think this one's going to work a bit better for me. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.